Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, is at the center of the Republican-led House impeachment inquiry into the 46th president. To tell us more about who Hunter Biden is and how he became the focus of this investigation, NewsHour White House correspondent Laura Barone Lopez joins me now. Laura, thank you so much for being here. First of all, who is Hunter Biden besides being President Biden's son? And what is their relationship like? Hunter Biden is the father of five. He went to Yale and received a law degree. He's 53 years old. And he's also very much uh, acknowledged that he has struggled from decades long addiction to alcohol and crack cocaine. Uh, he was engaged in foreign business dealings when President Biden was vice president. And um, another detail about Hunter Biden uh, that's kind of central to his story is that uh, when he was about three or four years old, his mother was killed in a car accident along with his infant sister. And he was in that car accident with his brother, Beau Biden, but the two of them survived. President Biden has long said that he supports his son, that he loves his son. He's tried to always be there for him as he has struggled with substance abuse and to be understanding and to really give his son the support that he needs. When we talk about this impeachment inquiry happening, what and whose business dealings are under scrutiny in this effort? Hunter Biden's business dealings are under scrutiny and his business dealings when he was on the board of Burisma, which is a Ukrainian energy company. What House Republicans are alleging, despite the fact that they have no evidence, is that when Hunter Biden was on that board, that Joe Biden was talking to Hunter Biden's business associates, that Joe Biden, as vice president, was basically using his influence and using his perch as vice president to benefit his son's business dealings while he was on the board of Burisma. But there is no evidence, House Republicans have no evidence that actually prove that fact. So if there is no evidence, how did House Republicans launch this inquiry and what do they expect to find with further investigation? An impeachment at its core is a political act. And um, the House has basically the ability to impeach a sitting president uh, based on their subjective decisions. But House Republicans brought this impeachment because of the fact that they are being pressured by the right wing in their party. They are being pressured by former President Donald Trump, who has long called for House Republicans to impeach President Biden, regardless uh, of the evidence. And even before House Republicans took the majority in, um, in January of 2023, after the 2022 midterms, there were a number of House Republicans that were saying that they were going to or hoping that they would have an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden, even though there has been no evidence. So if there's been no evidence to support these claims, what has House Speaker McCarthy said about launching this investigation? Speaker Kevin McCarthy has said that this impeachment inquiry was necessary because House Republicans want to access potentially bank records that they haven't been able to access before, use more of their subpoena power to determine whether or not President Biden as vice president received any bribes or committed any wrongdoing. The American people deserve to know that the public offices are not for sale and that the federal government is not being used to cover up the actions of a politically associated family. One of the accusations that Republicans have leveled is that Joe Biden was on phone calls when Hunter Biden was around his business partners. Now, did Joe Biden meet some of Hunter Biden's business associates? Yes, he did. But those same business associates, one named Devin Archer, has said that Joe Biden was never involved in any of their business dealings and that Joe Biden never took a bribe. So the very witnesses that House Republicans have brought to testify before them behind closed doors have refuted those allegations. And then one of the other big allegations that Republicans have made against the president has to do with a former Ukrainian prosecutor, Viktor Shokin. And what they allege is that when Joe Biden was vice president, that he called for and got this former prosecutor fired uh, 
you know, alleging corruption. And did Joe Biden at the time call for Victor Shokin to be fired? Yes, he did. So did a number of Senate Republicans. But what Republicans are alleging is that Joe Biden wanted this Ukrainian prosecutor, Victor Shokin, fired because Victor Shokin, they say, was investigating Burisma, the company that Hunter Biden was on the board of. There is no evidence whatsoever that Victor Shokin was investigating Burisma. A number of Ukrainian officials, the European Union, as well as U.S. officials at the time say that Viktor Shokin was not investigating corruption at all, and that is why he needed to be ousted. So there's no evidence whatsoever to back up this allegation that House Republicans have been making for years, mind you. They didn't just start making this allegation this year. And how do you think or expect that this impeachment inquiry is going to affect the 2024 race? Right now, when I talk to swing voters, they say that they don't care about Hunter Biden, that that is not something that they're paying attention to, and that they also don't see any of the evidence that House Republicans uh, are alleging, any evidence to support what House Republicans are alleging. So, and that's also something that uh, pollsters that I talk to, not just the voters, but Republican pollsters, Democratic pollsters who conduct their own focus groups with voters in battleground states, say that Those voters are not basing their vote on this impeachment inquiry that House Republicans are conducting. Laura Barone-Lopez, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.